Ever since I was a child, I always wanted to meet her personally. Needless to say, I was extremely disappointed. And then, ito na. Pagtingin niya sa akin, she said, I don't like to be disturbed while eating. Hindi kayo maniniwala kung anong ginawa niya next. I felt so unworthy. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be sharing with everyone my personal experience meeting Ms. Sharon Coneta in person. Panoorin po ninyo ito hanggang sa huli para malaman ninyo kung anong klaseng tao talaga si Mega. Ever since I was a child, I always wanted to meet her personally. I grew up listening to her songs, watching her movies, especially on TV. Since that day, wala naman kami masyadong pera para manood ng sine. I have heard from some people that she is really nice, humble, and down to earth. Pero syempre, here's a lang lahat yun. There was a time when we were supposed to work together in an event. Pero hindi natuloy. Because she was at the States at that time. And the ones who performed instead were Casey Concepcion and Gabby Concepcion. Needless to say, I was extremely disappointed. Kasi nga akala ko, makikita ko na siya. Hindi pa pala. Finally, another chance came. This time, available na siya. This is for an event in Cebu. Siyempre, sobrang excited ako. Finally, makikita ko na siya in person. On the day of the event, when she arrived at the venue, I was already busy doing my preparations for hosting and singing. So, hindi ko siya nakitang dumating. Nag-start na yung program, kumanta na ako, a lot of other celebrities performed as well. And halfway through the program, I heard that she is already in their holding area having dinner. So, while Jonah was doing her set, since mahaba naman yung set niya, sabi ko, tatakas muna ako para masilayan man lang si Mega. Because I know that when she starts performing later, hindi ko na siya maaabala. I'm sure dudumugin din siya ng mga bisita. And I have to be professional. Hindi mo na ako binayaran ng kliyente para makapag-picture kay Mega eh. So I headed to her holding area, kinakabahan, kasi nga, baka sungitan ako. I saw them all having dinner. Si Ms. Sharon Cuneta, si Maestro Dewey Ocampo, and the rest of their entourage. So kahit na idol ko rin si Maestro due to his amazing musicality, nang ibabaw yung pagka-starstruck ko kay Mega. She was really beautiful, in person, even more than on TV. And she is actually way slimmer in person. So malamang tama nga that the TV adds 10 to 20 pounds. Then naisip ko, parang hindi yata a good idea to talk to her since she's eating. Because I have heard from other celebrities that they don't like to be disturbed while eating. Problem is, Pag natapos na yung set ni Jonah, I have to go back on stage to resume my hosting job. So sabi ko, bala na. Bala na kung masungitan ako. At least malalaman ko na kung anong klaseng tao siya. At least I tried. So dahan-dahan in-approach ko siya. And I said with my shaking voice, Miss Sharon, sorry to disturb you. I'm a huge fan. Is it okay to take a picture with you? And then, ito na. Pagtingin niya sa akin, she said, Sure, no problem, sweetheart. Tumayo agad. Iniiwan yung kinakain niya. And nakapag-picture. After that, we even had a conversation. And during that conversation, she saw that my forehead was perspiring. Kasi nga, kinakabahan ako. Hindi kayo maniniwala kung anong ginawa niya next. Using her bare hand, Gamit yung kamay niya, pinahid niya yung pawis ko, and said, Sweetheart, you're sweating. Muntik talaga ako himatayin. I felt so unworthy. Imagine si Mega, gamit yung kamay niya, pinunas niya yung pawis ko. Walang kaere-ere.
When it was time for her to perform, upon my introduction, the crowd went wild. Obviously, everyone loves Mega. She started to sing and she sounded really great in person. She actually has a strong head voice when you listen to her in person. Her singing voice is way better in person than on her recordings. She sang her hits, some standards, and in the middle of her set, nag shout out pa siya sa akin. She made me feel really special. Nung natapos na yung set niya, sabi niya, she almost forgot. And she dedicated a song to me, which we sang together impromptu a cappella. No practice. Pangarap na between, which is one of my childhood favorites. Sayang lang since hindi ko nga alam na magkakaroon ng surprise na ganyan, na moment na ganyan, hindi ko na paghandaan, hindi ko na video. Although somebody told me that uh, parang meron yata silang nakuwang short clip of that performance na ipapadala daw sa akin. So I'll try to post it kung meron na, kung nakita ko na. Kahit na short clip lang, it's still better than none. Remembrance pa rin yan para sa akin. After pangarap na between, she said goodbye to the crowd and dinumog siya ng lahat ng bisita. Lahat gusto makapag-picture. Mind you, we have around 600 guests that day. Lahat pinagbigyan niya. She was so gracious. After a picture taken with the guests, with the crowd, paalis na siya, she turned to me and said, I'm on IG, follow me. Siyempre, sabi ko, oo. May gayan eh. Eventually, she wrote a message for me on her IG account, which I screen grabbed. I may just be one of her millions of fans, but that day, she made me feel extra special. She made me feel like I'm one of the most important ones. She really has a gift. Her talents overflowing, her undeniable charisma, and sobrang down to earth. That's what makes her a megastar. So like millions and billions of her fans, Mega, if you're watching this video, which I really doubt that you would, but just in case, mapanood mo to. Thank you so much, and we will forever be Sharonians. Continue to inspire all of us. Thank you. So please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, and comment down below. If you have your own personal experience with a megastar, I'd love to hear from you. Stay healthy, everyone.